Think you're getting out? Think you're getting out? <laughs> no. You know, it's nice to have a day where I actually don't have an agenda, really. I uh, don't have anything planned. So I'm just going to kind of cruise around for a while and see what I can see. I just saw a sign there for Cave in Rock, Illinois. And I might stop in there and show you guys, but, you know, there's not much to it. The reason it's called Cave in Rock is because there's a big rock with a cave in it. That makes sense. Well, we're now in the town of Cave in Rock, so let's go see if we can find a rock with the cave in it. Well, this town has 300 people in it, and we have a traffic jam. I'm going to see if I can turn. Yep. Wow, this town is sophisticated. Their Opry House has both an entrance and an exit. Wow. So if I were to take off my shoes and walk over there, I could get to it, but it's not that impressive. So, this is what I crossed on the way over. Got a few brave people here. You got all the footprints in the mud. The Ohio River. Well, May doesn't look like the right time to go to Cave in Rock because the water's up. So, if I'm back this way on my next vacation or sometime in June or July, even August, then I'll stop and take you on a tour. But it's as impressive as it gets. How am I supposed to drive with you down there? Hmm? How indeed? <laughs> Come on up. Come on, baby. Good girl. Is that better? It is for me. Oh, good girl. Okay, lay down and chill. We're on our way out. Well, I didn't really plan on this, but we're going to take a ride on a ferry. So. Let's try to enjoy this. I've never done this before, so. She's not sure what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Well, the 
that's my first ferry ride. Oh, let's get out. The guy that drives this ferry is horrible at parallel parking. <laughs> He's tried to get it on the nose four times now and hasn't been able to do it. Well, I'm in Kentucky now. That was my first experience on a ferry. And interestingly enough, no charge. I thought every ferry charged. Maybe I've seen too many videos from uh, New York City. Who knows? Well, I'm in Kentucky now, so I can start talking with an accent. In nature, winning the battle of territorial dominance is a key factor to survival. In this epic battle of moth versus cat, we see the moth try to expand its territory by laying claim to the current owner's domain. The cat appears curious as the moth flutters in an apparent act of defiance. The cat seems almost willing to negotiate and tries to shake hands. The moth rejects the cat's offer of cessation of hostilities Feigning indifference, the cat first looks away. Then strikes. Feeling guilty over her quick victory, the cat tries a few chest compressions to revive the moth. The moth struggles back to life. Then, as a last act of defiance, flips off the cat as it struggles to escape. This infuriates the cat. The moth's only recourse is to appeal to the cat's servant. The cat agrees to let the moth live, but gives it a stern warning with the sniff of death not to return to my van. <laughs>